What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, today, we are going to take a look at EQing a PA system with our new uh, in-ear rig that I just finished building. So if you came from that video, um, this is uh, what it sounds like. Um, if you would like to see that video, uh, click the upper corner of your screen. Um, okay, so here's a basic rundown of the system. Uh, I've got a Personas Studio Live 24R 2U 24-channel rack mixer. I've got a DBX Drive Rack Venue 360 as my system processor. Um, we are rocking a 58, uh, an iPad that has our UC control software on it. Um, this is an Elite Core personal monitor amplifier. It's basically a stereo headphone amplifier. Um, the ears on this run are going to be wired for the, uh, it's a three, three member band. Um, there's a, a keyboard player that runs backing tracks and, uh, dr uh, an acoustic drummer, drummer on acoustic kit. Sorry, that was weird and complicated and a singer. So, uh, the two band members are going to be wired. Um, the band or the singer is going to be wireless. I've just got a uh, Linksys router, which is certainly nothing special or advanced, and on the back here, we are uh, wired in uh, to our router here into the LAN ports. So the uh, system processor and the mixer have LAN ports. Um, just a quick rundown. We're running two sets of stereo ears uh, right now. So this is mix one and mix two. Mix three is going to be reserved for wireless ears for the singer. Uh, that is using a radial catapult box that is... Um, going from TRS into uh, XLR. Um, the mixer is hardwired into the system processor uh, with two XLR lines, and then our XLR lines coming out of the system processor are left, right, and sub. So a very, very, very basic uh, PA system setup. Stereo, left, right, mono, sub. Um, this is my workshop. Um, it is a mess, as always. I'm in the middle of three simultaneous builds, and then I decided to do this one uh, because I have about two hours to get this whole thing done. So I just finished it while well, wiring it up. So I just wanted to uh, make a quick video as to what it sounds like. So here we go. Okay, so we've got our uh, vocal mic set up. So right now, the uh, signal flow is vocal mic going into our mixer the mixer output going into our system processor and the system processor going left, right, and sub. So there are three outputs on our system processor. So uh, the EQ on the mixer and the EQ on our system processor is completely flat. Uh, so if you're listening to my voice right now, it doesn't sound great. Uh, there's a lot of P's in, in the plosives, which means my voice is going to the subwoofer, which is not the greatest thing in the history of the world. So let's uh, take our volume up here. Two, two, two. Yep, yep. Uh, let's take our volume up here, and then let's go into our system processor. Uh, this is the control uh, panel for our DBX uh, Venue 360. So I'm going to bring up my crossover first. Um, and uh, this is often a very debated subject as to what point your subwoofers cross over. Um, what that means is at what point does a full frequency range um, content or song that generally is ranging from 20, 20 hertz on the low end to 20 kilohertz on the high end, at uh, what point does that go to what speaker? So when does the bass go to the subs? When does the higher frequencies go to the... Uh, top speakers. So I cross my subwoofers over very low. Um, I'm using a 48 dB per octave Linkwitz Riley filter, um, which is, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is this, uh, actually, I'm just going to make it so that you can. Uh, this is, this is the subwoofer frequency right here. It's this triangle that's illustrated here. So as you can see, I'm talking into this microphone, and if you're listening on speakers or headphones, you can hear what sounds like rumbling thunder, which is not very good. Um, we're gonna bring our main speakers back in here. So we're gonna bring that in, and that's gonna come in just like that. Uh, so this is, this is full range right now. So 
Um, what I like to do is start with a subwoofer EQ. That's the first thing I do when I listen to a system for the first time is start with a subwoofer EQ. So um, YouTube is probably not gonna let me do that uh, because I don't own the royalties to the song that I use, but let's listen to it just in sub. Um, and I'm, I don't think that the algorithm will pick that up. So let's give that a listen. So we're gonna turn our mains off. I'm gonna shut my mic off because this is just a switched SM58. And we are just gonna play our song. The song I like to use is uh, called Spider Fingers. It's by an, art an artist named Bruce Hornsby, which at uh, this point is almost a running joke that I use this song so much with every band that I work with. So I'm just gonna bring the volume up just so we can make things a little bit more obvious. So let's go into our subs. We're gonna bring our volume up here too. And now we're gonna go into our EQ over the subwoofers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get low frequencies out. Super, super low frequencies. Let's get those out of there. Let's make a little notch just like that. Now I want to listen to where these are, the resonant frequencies are. Okay, I'm just sweeping some filters here. All right, so it's very boomy around 80. Let's see if we can can make this tighten up oh yeah so just two little notches in a, in a high pass already already cleaned up our mix a lot so we're gonna take this out we're gonna gauge it out okay so that's already cleaned things up a lot so let's get this, we're just gonna pause that for a second. Um, when you're listening to this, so let's let's see what this sounds like with a 222, with a vocal mic. Let's bring our, oops, let's bring our crossover frequency back in. We're gonna bring our mains in, 22, two, hey, hey. 222, two, two, hey, two, hey, two. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, so we're gonna take our subs down a little bit. We gained them up. So uh, this is flat with just a um, little EQ on the sub. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, but you'll high pass your vocal channel. Yes, that's very true. Uh, we will, but uh, we wanna see um, what, what it sounds like in its most uh, raw and bad sounding. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into our parametric EQ and we're gonna engage that and turn that on. So let's find out where things are ringing. Okay, we're gonna keep that down there like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna sweep frequencies like this. Hey two, hey two, oh yeah, so there's all of our high end is gone. So let's n narrow that filter down and let's see where we're ringing. Two, 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 hey two, hey two, hey two, hey two, there we go. Hey two, hey two, hey two, okay. Right about one and a half. So now you can see some of the ring is gone. We're gonna do another filter down here. Take a little bit more. I'm gonna tighten up our cue again. Hey two, hey two. Oh yeah, hey, hey, hey. Now this um, this process is completely subjective. Um, there are a lot of people who um, are interested in programs like Smart, um, which which are totally fine. And and even this uh, DDX drive rack does have an auto EQ function. Um, but I do like to start my systems. Um, I like to start my systems with just using my ears. And if I 
find that uh, something is not working like I wanted to, um, I can go in with, with something more detailed with a measurement microphone. So uh, this is just a basic tone control right now, um, just to listen to how the system is responding. Uh, I, I like, I have another very unscientific thing that I do and I call that squirrel noises. So all you do is take your teeth and go and that will expose a lot of resonant frequencies, especially feedback frequencies in the high end. So let's, uh, let's have another EQ here. Just notch that out, something tight, and we'll just go through here and make some noises. So I'm hearing something very high still. There we go. So what is that? That's six, six and a half. Two, two, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so that is a reasonably flat sounding PA at the moment. So we can go back into our vocal channel and let's see what it sounds like once we put some EQ on our, on our vocal channel. Uh, you can go in here and just do some basic things. Like right now, I'm hearing a lot of high mids that I don't really love. So we're just going to use our ears. And oh, there we go. It's already sounding a little better. Uh, one of the things that I actually don't really love about this this PreSonus app is uh, oh, we are definitely going to engage our high pass filter here. Cheap. There we go. All right. So right now, I'm rocking a uh, 175 hertz high pass filter. So I'm <coughs> taking a... I'm still hearing my voice in the sub, so I want to take my high pass filter up about 200. Take that down, and there we go. That's a that's a very nice sounding uh, vocal microphone. There's still a little bit of high frequency here, but uh, for the sake of the example, uh, this would be a good system. Um, what I would do next, if I were allowed by YouTube, is I would play music. Uh, and see what the music sounds like. But uh, this is a, um, a very, just to make sure that uh, it is still sounding musical, we haven't cut too much. Uh, this is an example of, uh, of, of a cut EQ. Now, you will notice that I have not adjusted my main EQ um, on my two bus on the console. Um, oftentimes, I'll do that too. Uh, I will take the take the microphone and do horrendous things with it, like point it at the main PA speakers or uh, take it very far away from my mouth like this and gain it up to see where it wants to ring. Um, you know, if you're working in a wedding band or you're working uh, with, with any type of singer who might be uh, a bit, a bit uh, interested in seeing what the crowd has to say up and close and personal, you always need to understand that a vocal mic might be, or a vocal mic might be in the worst possible place in front of a PA system, which is not great. So uh, you need to account for that. You know, there's resonant frequency in the room that you need to be listening to, but this is, just a very, very quick and dirty example on how to do this. Um, I'm, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, my advice is just use your ears. Um, I'm sure that there will be a great deal of debate uh, of doing this uh, this way. Uh, however, this is the way that, that I like to do it. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. I love making videos like this. Um, I'd be happy to de to uh, discuss in detail any any advanced uh, subject like uh, running your mains on a matrix um, or you running your subs on an aux. If you have any questions, I would be very very happy to make videos on either of those two concepts. Also, uh, this is just a simple thing. So if you have any questions, just please leave me a comment. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, hope everybody has a great day. Thanks so much.